This is the General and welcome back to the Pro Magnon modded server and welcome back to me and my computer. This is it. I actually am on my computer now and it's working. And this is uh, somewhat of a stress test for it. The most intensive program I actually got here I think would be the uh, the modded server. So let's see how this goes. If this video goes up Everything's good. Mostly anyway. So. Let's just jump straight to it. Uh, since last time I have been doing so much digging. It's crazy. All these chests. It's over a week ago now since I have my been having my problems. And I actually made this battle wrench. Pretty cool little thing. Whoops. There it is. Yeah, just a invar. Invar, Invar, Crescent Hammer, Invar, no, Tin and Iron. So very, very nice. Okay, let's uh, sleep. Did that do something? Use a different thing. <laughs> All right, let's jump straight into this, guys. Ah, feels so good just being back. So yeah, all these, uh, just look at my ores here. Whole bunch of stuff that I've been collecting. All the chests are full of goodies. All kinds of crazy things. What even, what even is this? Congealed purple slime. I don't know where I got that. So, to start off with, we need to, uh, to make all the crazy uh, green. Why am I looking up green? It's not what I want to look at. So, uh, status. I got an external keyboard. A wireless one. I went to the store. I got a new one since I got my computer up and running. But the keyboard is not working on the computer itself. It's a laptop. And the keyboard is fried. So I got a wireless USB keyboard and it works. It works perfectly. And I'm so happy. It means I can play and the computer seems to be running fine. Let me close that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just jump straight to it, guys. Uh, I want to make a pulverizer. Uh huh. Not that way. Copper gears. It seems fairly simple. Fused Invar ingots. What? And you need a pulverizer to make a pulverizer. What? Okay, not that. Here we go. Silver, silver, silver. And dear, no, I don't have that. <laughs> this piston machine frame is. Oh, man. Glass, tin gear, iron ingots. Tin gear is tin around copper. All right. I'll uh, work my way towards it, I guess. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I have uh, auto smelt on my uh, hammer, which is super, super useful. Look at this, automatic glass, and it works on all the ores, so I don't have to smelt it. It also has uh, some luck on it, which is really good, because then I get more than one ingot when I break things, and it's amazing, and I have so much stuff. <laughs> all right, let's continue. Uh, I think I'm almost there, so let's do this together. Basic. That's the one. Can we do it now? Yeah, we can. There we go. Machine frame. What are we missing? Can we uh, do this yet? Well, we can't. Let's do that. See if... Oh, no, 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 no. We don't have the uh, that thing. Rod McRoderson. Oh, that's super simple. Redstone... Hmm. <laughs> well, that's some redstone in here. Boop boop. Are there any golden ingots? Tra la 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 la. Let's just grab these. Oh, hey, guy. I got knockback on this, bro. Ooh, nice head. Is that more of them? Only the one guy. Only the one guy. I have gold somewhere. I just can't be bothered. 
to look where it is. Oh my, this inventory man. <laughs> if you don't have any bags on you and stuff, it's just terrible. Okay, I think we got this now. There we go. Overizer. Hey, yo. So I think I'm going to put it over here. All right. There we go. Uh, the reason, by the way, I want to make this is so that I can... Uh, uh, let's look up here and I can show you. I looked up this before. That's not uses. You. You. Hello. Crush this items. Thanks. Very useful. Okay, it's not showing me. That's really strange. Anyway. Nope. Well, you can put flowers in here and you get a whole bunch of dye from it and that's going to be really helpful going and making all the uh, <laughs> all the plants uh, ammo boxes and all that and um, also for dye for wool get some sweet armor yeah just general dye I wonder if it works on cactus that would be amazing so we'll have to check that out Meow. but we're going to need a way of powering this thing man I have 48 levels Told you I've been digging a lot. We need a dynamo. Dynamino. That's not how you... <laughs> Alright. Steam. Enervation. Reactant. Enervation. Let's do that. Electrum. Electrum. Transmission coil. Simple enough. Because I think you can you run these just with uh, redstone. I got a ton of that stuff anyway. Sure, Electrum. Okay, let's just see if we can plunk that in there. Guess I don't have enough Electrum on me. Oh, it's night. Sleep. Okay, good. Hmm. So, uh, I don't know how long this episode is going to be. It's mostly running a test and, and getting back into things. So, hopefully... Hopefully... Things are smooth from here. This is all the gunpowder I have, by the way, which is holding me back a lot. I'm going to have to find a way to reliably get a whole lot of gunpowder. I know you can craft it with various different things. So maybe there's something nice we can do to do that. That's iron, right? I think so. Do, do, do. Oh, we need two of them. Perfect. And boop. And there we go. Right. We have those. How do you make this? Silver. All right. I got plenty of silver. I'm just going to take a random chest in the back. Do you have silver? Yeah, you do. Thank you. Uh, didn't need redstone. I'm going to grab some anyway. Boink. And a crafty crafty. Let's do make a one of these. I think we're good. Yeah, perfect. Enervation dynamo. So you need to. I don't know which is input on this thing. There you go. And then you just plonk in a bunch of. Yeah, it's doing stuff. Uh -huh. I really got to figure out what's causing this glitchy, glitchy business. Uh, disabled, ignored, right? Uh huh. Level one, right? Input, output, energy stored. Well, directly from natural sources or from objects which store it. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's going. Oh, maybe it just needed to, like, heat up or something. Oh, it filled up this directly. Yeah, I was wondering if I had to... Uh... Okay, I'm going to figure all this out. 
I guess that's input then. <laughs> okay, as long as it works, man. Oh, I guess you could just put it directly in here anyway. Oh, well. Well, this works better. So let's test. Can you pulverize cactus? No, you can't. Are there any flowers around? I can test this on. What are you? I want... I wonder if these work. Probably not. Nah. All right. All right, let's see what we got. I also made a uh, redstone furnace. Pretty simple stuff. Let's look it up. Redstone furnace. Uh, here you go. No, I need the basic one. Yeah. Just brick, and the same as the last one, the machine frame. All that stuff. I'm also do it with Invar and Electrum, which I got. But I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, let's uh, test out this thing. I got some dandelions. Uh, oh, yeah, four. Four out of each. That's amazing. It's going to be so helpful. And I also uh, just put in the... Uh, Cactus green in here. So why do I need dye? And why was that useful? Well, let's look at Flan. My buddy. All of these. Oh, I got that. Yeah, all of these take different kinds of dye. Ooh. Fiberglass. Clay and sand mixture. Oh yeah, I can easily do that. Super simple. So uh, what I'm thinking is... Yeah, there's some yellow. Good. I'm going to make all of these, and then we'll look through them, see if we... Yeah, why not? Let's make all of every of these items. I should just do that off camera, fill out. Uh, so we have everything, and then we can uh, see if we can make something cool today. Man. All right. Yeah, because we added the modern weapons pack as well. Which uh, adds so many cool things. Look at this. British SAS helmet. Yes, please. All right. Let me uh, make all these and see what uh, what we can do. All right, here we go. I've made all of them. That was super simple to do. Just ignore the slimes. I think they're stuck in the water somewhere. So let's put in everything we got. German weapon box. Russian weapon box. Yeah, I already put down a few. I decided just to uh, move things around here. Japanese and American represent. Ooh. Yeah, this is from the old flans, I believe. Might be some new things in here. Colt. Browning gun. Ooh. Oh, we're going to get all of this. Everything. Frag grenade can make one right now. Should I do it? Let's do it. I gotta be conservative with my gunpowder though until I figure out a way to uh, to use that successfully. I mean, to uh, to obtain it successfully. Alright, let's just try this. Let's blow it somewhere. Right over here. In my testing area. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that is so cool. Ugh, lucky water. Man, look at that. Ooh, look what I found, huh? Found a secret. That's awesome. It's a pretty big explosion for a fragment. That is so cool. This whole biome is going to be full of holes when I'm done with it. So let's go back and see if there's uh, any other cool things we can craft today. This is the modern weapon box. This is the good stuff. Oh, you need the uh, fiberglass. I might still have some leftover. I made a bunch. The dragon off. For those of you who don't know, that is a sniper rifle from Russia. Infamous sniper rifle. I can actually make that. Hmm. <laughs> oh man, it's another sniper R700. Barrett. It's crazy. What's this? Oops. I clicked it. I hope I didn't make it. Oh, I don't have enough gunpowder. 
Whew, L96. It's a whole bunch of crazy weapons. M16, the American one. FN Scar. AK-47. That's a classic. What in the world is this? Anyway, G3, G36C. The AUG. So many weapons! Scorpion. Mini Uzi AK-74. Alright, let me tell you about the... Why is it called an AK-74 and why is there an AK-47? Originally, the AK-47, Russian model, was... This guy needs to stop. It was made in Russia and it uh, it's actually... The name comes from... Uh, Anatoly Kalashnikov? I may be wrong. <laughs> I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but it's a Kalashnikov. And 47 is the year it was put into use, basically. It was made 46, I'm thinking, but it wasn't put into uh, into use until 47. The uh, same story with the AK-74 is it was, uh, it was made in uh, 1974 and then used by the Russian army. So that's uh, some trivia for you. All right, looking through here. Yeah, I totally can make that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to see what's up with that. RPD, RPK, some heavy duty weapons. Minigun, oh man. All right, let me look uh, through here, see if I can find something cool and suitable for us. Guys. I have made a shocking discovery. A pulverizing coal. You only get one for one, which is fine. But you also get sulfur. Hmm. As if that wasn't a shocking discovery. I'm gonna let this finish up and then I'll tell you it involves redstone. It involves the coal. Hurry up so I can show the people also, this is all my wool. I'm gonna make some armor for myself. And, uh, everything's gonna be beautiful. And there we go. Are you ready for my shocking discovery? This is amazing, guys. I hope I can, um, I'm gonna split these just like that. I hope I didn't do this backwards. Because this is amazing. Check this out. Boom. Huh? Redstone and coal. Three gunpowder. Boom. Gunpowder situation. Much, much better. Also this. Oh. Dang. Let's just put all these back down. Uh. Didn't know you could do that. <laughs> as long as it grows, whatever. Um. So that's the gunpowder situation. The wood situation is worse <laughs> now. I don't have a lot of wood, but I've decided. I'm gonna make a dragon off. Oh, that's the gun modification table. You can add scopes and all that. And I was looking through these marines. That's pretty cool in itself. Um, Spetsnaz. That's an awesome one. German KSK, but this one I want, the British SAS. It just looks so cool. That's why I got... Let's see if this works. Because I saw a recipe, you have these burst plant seeds. Oh, you do get gray dye from them. I had a bunch of them, so I didn't do all of them. I'm sure there's better uses for it. But that's it, get gray dye. So we can do that after. Uh, let's go for the modern weapon box here. There it is. Oh, glass. Ah, it feels so good to be back, guys. I have been worried. I've been losing subscribers. It's just been a nightmare. But that's all right. The people who care, they stick around. Right, guys? That's why you're here. Eight. I swear I only picked up four. Maybe I did have glass. Okay. Dragonov. So, well, since we got so much gunpowder, let's do this stack. 
Yeah, they do. Let's make four of them. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, that's what it looks like. That's the color palette. It has wood on the front there. Such a classic Russian sniper rifle. I fell in love with this rifle uh, way back. There was a game called Project IGI. It's short for I'm Going In. It was like uh, one of the first uh, Soviet, however you want, uh, infiltration type war games. It was just amazing. And it had the Dragonova in it. And that weapon was just spectacular. So let's load this up. Oh, the sound. The sound. Hmm, who do we... Uh, well, we can always use leather, right? Here we go. Well, you just click. You don't have to hold lift. Headshot. <laughs> I missed! There we go. <laughs> oh, let's do the piggy. Yeah, no scope. I no scoped you, piggy. I no scope. Oh. Ectoplasm? It must have been from that spirit I killed. Yeah, also you can make torches with... Uh, you see these are gray? You make just... Uh, you stone is the same way as wood to get sticks. And you get stone rods. Saves on the wood. And I wonder what the range is on this thing, though. Mm. It zooms in pretty well. With that uh, view distance, the fog. It looks so mm. cool. Oh, man, I love this. Playing with guns with the general. It's the only way to do it, fellas. That's how you do it. This is flax, by the way. Flax is string. So I've heard somewhere on the internet. Hmm. Oh, it's so tempting, but I just share these guys. Oh, I love it. I have a sniper. Snipers. And let me put away some... Okay, that chest is full. That chest is full, but it can store some things. All right. So let's, before I fiddle around way too much, let's get some of that gray wool we need going yeah I figured out you can use uh, like the glass recipe for uh, for it in this mod pack severely reduces the use of the uh, the dye so amazing uh, I'm gonna keep some I think this is enough let's uh, find out it might be a little short whoop in here yeah, it will be short. Sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm a terrible human being. Mm -mm -mm. And the gray. And there we go. I'm really interested to see if that cactus in the water grows. I've never seen that. I'm sure people have done it before. Mm hmm. Well, I'm going to have to do one and one here. Well, you can't right-click it on. Oh, I have armor. Oh, man. You know, let me sort myself out. I'm so sorry, guys. I love this thing. You can eat it until you're completely full on saturation. So let's take off this old World War II am camo. There we go. Put that on. wonder if it's uh, better armor, though. One of these, one of those, and one of those. Nah, it's the same. <laughs> That's a shame. Oh, man, look at it. This, my friends. Man, look at the back. It has a little backpack on it. And the British flag on the side. Oh, <laughs> it's so cool with the, with the hat I have on. Oh, man, is that like a gas mask on? That is so fantastic. General is up and running, guys. General is doing business. Doing the job. And I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, we should make some more uh, vehicles and stuff and have like a big hangar for them. That would be amazing. 
<gasps> a Chinook. Oh, I love Chinooks. Any, uh, any of you guys uh, old enough to have played Red Alert? Red Alert 2? A Chinook in that was so amazing. You could transport your troops. <laughs> uh, good old days. Listen to me. I'm so old. I have all these old memories of things in the past. All right. Anyway, guys, not much we did today, but we, at least I got to hang out with you guys, test out my new keyboard. It's going to take some time getting used to it because you know how it is. You have a keyboard for several years that you get used to. It like becomes an extension of your hand. And yeah, it feels good. It feels really good. Look at that camo. Oh, man. I mean, I'm not really camouflaged here, but dang, do I look good. <laughs> oh, I love this. I need your ink. I need it. How did I miss that? There. What? You're the most elusive. You have a hat. There you go. Did I unlock the hat? I don't know. I don't know if that counts. But this is officially fantastic. I'll be having that. Thank you. Ooh, you dropped a squid plant thing. <laughs> cool. I'll let that stay and grow. Oh, I see it grows. Cool. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Inspect. All right. Enough kidding around. I just want to say thank you guys for sticking around, waiting for me to put out a video again. It's been a rough few days for me, and it's caused me a lot of headache and heartache and pain and suffering. <laughs> But thank you guys uh, for your continued support. Yeah, I'm able to do this, guys. As long as my computer doesn't shut off, doesn't shut down on me, I'll keep doing this. I'll keep making videos, keep pleasing you guys with amazing content. Now in Christmas, I'm also thinking of starting some adventure maps that are Christmas themed just to get in the spirit because I don't know about you guys, but I never get in the Christmas spirit until the final days before Christmas. I got the stuff in the stores from like September now, and it's, I, I don't get in the spirit, you know, without snow at least. And we don't have snow here yet. Mm hmm. So, yeah. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for letting me sort myself out and having patience. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Come on, stop being sentimental. You're a general. Look at you. You got guns and stuff. Be a tough man. All right, guys. I've been the general. Thank you all for watching. Addies.